was the gig? Great. I killed. Gay people love me. <laughs> You're kidding. No. And I sold a whole box of t-shirts. They went like hotcakes, which, by the way, happens to be my new nickname down there. <laughs> they actually bought the Any Doodle Do shirts? Mm -hmm. Apparently, where the ladies find the phrase a little hoary, the gay guys look at it as an invitation to party. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm glad it went so well for you down there. You know, I learned something surprising tonight. Yeah? That you don't have as big of a problem with gay people as you thought? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I learned that I'm a really good entertainer. I mean, I bridged the gap tonight with my humor. It didn't matter that I like girls and they don't. They realize that I'm no different than them. Are you sure they know that you like girls? Of course. How could they not? Did you tell them jokes about your wife? Heck no, gay guys don't have wives. I just adjusted my material to fit the crowd. No, I just did my other material. I talked about guys hanging out with other guys. Guys camping together, guys fishing together. Guys guying around. <laughs> guys doing stuff with other guys. And I sing dancing with the man and the clothes with other to my penis. They think I'm gay, Trina. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you so much for calling me back. I really appreciate it. All right, bye-bye. What did the doctor say? Well, he said Bo could be sleep peeing because he's got some sort of anxiety about something. Hmm. Well, he said we could try to find out what's wrong with him, and that might help. But the good thing is he didn't sleep pee on anything last night, so maybe the whole thing is just over. Oh, nope, nope. <laughs> just moved to another location. He peed in the dishwasher? That's disgusting. Hey, he got that stain off the lasagna pan. Well, hey there, hotcakes. Rodney, your life partner with you. Barry, do you know how to get the pee smell out of a dishwasher? Well, I'd recommend not whizzing in it to begin with. So, what do you want to do today? Get a facial? Go antiquing? I know. Let's go buy a small dog. <laughs> go ahead. Get it all out. I'm not going back down to the stallion. No, you booked it for three nights, Rodney. You have to do it. No, I don't. I'm just going to call that Frank guy and tell him I'm sick. Hey, now, wait a minute. You heard that crowd. They loved you. They bought your stupid t-shirts. A lot of them. Man, they think I'm gay. <laughs> so what? Is that so bad? Come on now, Rodney. You play for a lot of different kinds of people. Can't you just adapt? I mean, you played the rodeo and you wore a cowboy hat and chaps. It didn't exactly make you a cowboy. Oh, you should wear that outfit to stallions. They will love it. It's not an outfit. It's a get-up. Oh, come on, Rodney. Let them think you're gay. I'll be right there with you. As you're obviously heterosexual, can't get enough of the lady's friend. How bad can it be? I'll just treat it like any other gig. I'll go down there, I'll do my act, and I'll leave. Yeah, just in and out. <laughs> well, actually, it's two more nights, so that would be in and out, in and out. There you go. Thanks. Any doodle do. That's right. Any doodle do. And we would know. <laughs> That's right. He would know. <laughs> I'll take one in medium, please. Okay, what color? We have sunburst, rosebud, and morning swim. Look at two. Five dollars off for the menage. Sold. Thirty-five dollars. Thank you very much. Rodney? <laughs> I can't tell you how much watching you tonight meant to me. Well, would you like to show your appreciation in a small, medium, or large? Oh, I'm not here for a shirt. I just wanted to tell you that you're a real role model. Oh, I, I don't know if I'm a role model. Oh, yeah, you are. The comics we get in here are always so swishy. It's nice to see a regular gay guy like you and me. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, just, just like you and him. That's right. <laughs> We weren't into musical theater. We were the guys fooling around in the locker room after football practice. Ain't that right? Yeah. Yeah, maybe a little towel snapping. <laughs> You're the real deal, boy. You keep it up. 
Thanks. Oh, and uh, before you leave, yeah. you, me, and the dance floor. <laughs> I don't know, Rodney. You may have stumbled onto a gold mine here. I don't know if anybody's ever thought of marketing to these people, but evidently gay men like to shop. I don't know, Barry. This whole thing's starting to make me feel uncomfortable. I thought you'd made peace with all these guys thinking you were gay. Yeah, well, I thought so too, but now I'm some guy's role model. I'm just a big phony. I'm just taking advantage of these guys. Well, yeah, you are. To make money. <laughs> but it ain't right. I've been lying to them. I need to come out and be honest. No, you don't. Now look, what you do with women behind closed doors is between you and the Lord. No, tomorrow I'm coming out and I'm gonna let them know that I'm straight and I mean it. Looking good, Rod Sickle. You are so bad. <laughs> Thanks for babysitting, Charlie. Oh, I'm happy to. You know I love hanging out with the boys. We always have so much fun. You know they're both already asleep, right? Oh, thank God. I stayed out till 3.30 in the morning last night. I don't know how I was going to get it up for all the games and talking and crap. <laughs> all right, well, I got to get going. I told Rodney I'd be there when he came out. Man, I love gay bars. I mean, all the men still want to get my pants, but just to wear them. <laughs> It's Trina, I'm on next. Don't worry, she'll be here. The man at the end of the bar wants to know if you'd like a mojito before you go on stage. <laughs> uh, only if it's a drink. <laughs> it's a drink. <laughs> Great. That you slurp out of the navel of the gentleman who bought it for you. <clears throat> I'll pass. I just drink a cup of coffee out of my buddy's ear. <laughs> gentlemen, and not so gentlemen, please welcome to the stage our own Rodney Hamilton. <laughs> Don't worry, she'll be here. You sure they let girls in here? Yeah, there's one right over there. Scratching her nards. <laughs> They are fine. Just get home now. All right, fine. Don't panic. I'll just, uh, I'll be right there. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> Rodney's phone. This is Barry, his heterosexual friend. Barry, let me talk to Rodney. I can't. He's on stage right now. <laughs> okay, well, when he gets off, can you just tell him that something came up at home and I can't make it? Oh, I'll tell him. Okay, bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.